what has he meant to you, I guess, this year in, in your growth over the season? Awesome. Juwan. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, this is present in there. Him get the ball, I mean, he can pass, he gets to the shooters, you know. I mean, when they double, he can kick it out with the shooters. I mean, it's really, I mean, next year we're going to miss him a lot. This is present for him. It's useful. How much are you looking forward to playing in one final game with him here in Assembly Hall? Uh, really forward. I mean, I'm looking really to that. But, um, I mean, and I'm all sad to see him, though. So, uh, he's going to win for him. Thank you. There was a sequence there in the second half where I think you got out in transition and had a, you know, a layup through contact and then a couple plays later, found Jawan on the dish off in a similar kind of sequence. Is, does Coach kind of make it a point of emphasis for you to start getting downhill? It seems like your offense, you know, is maybe at its best when you're kind of leading the fast break getting downhill. Yeah, it lets me be aggressive, even off ball screen to get downhill. It's shooters at the big guy off the ropes too. So, uh, I feel like when I get downhill, it opens up a lot of things. What's kind of your thought process when you, you maybe get a, a rebound and grab and go or get an outlet pass? You see the floor in front of you, maybe see that numbers advantage. What, what are maybe your reads, the things you're, you're thinking about? Uh, Really just advance the ball, get the, the best the best shot for us. But um, and besides that, Coach Miller wants us to play a lot a lot faster than we have been normally. So uh, we just get out and go. With Romeo not being out there this last couple games, how do you feel like your role has changed a little bit? Obviously, you know, asking more from you offensively, playing more minutes. What is, what's kind of been the change there? Uh, I say Al. Al playing the three. Um, yeah. Just him on defense. His guard guys that are a little bit bigger than him. And, um, you know, just on offense today. And I will play through him and Jawan usually. So. Yeah. Just other guys can step up and feel like we're doing a good job with it. Not having that lack of size, you and Devontae and Alex show a pretty solid defensive crew. You feel like having just that, you know, maybe on ball pressure, that physical strength across three positions helps you guys maybe make up for that lack of size? Yeah, I think so. I mean, we pressure the ball and uh, get some turnovers and um, just get after the guys. I feel like that gets a lot of, I mean, that gets us going on offense end too. So uh, we translate defense to offense. That's how I feel like that's when we're at our best. How's Romeo kind of helped you three, maybe you in particular, from the sidelines, just maybe letting you know what he sees from there and helping you read the floor? Yeah, uh, I mean, just being off the court, I mean, even with my injury, I feel like you see a lot of things you don't see when you're playing. So, just him telling things, telling us things, giving us hints and stuff, uh, that really helps us. What did you see when you were out earlier in the season that maybe helped you when you came back? Uh, I said the defensive end, just coming off a lot of, like, stagger screens, yeah. the way he defend them. I mean, going over ball screens, too. So, I feel like on the defensive end, I've seen a lot of things. You feel like there was a noticeable change post-injury coming back on, on defense for you? Yeah, I said that. I, said, um, I mean, just coming as a freshman, it's a lot, a lot yeah. harder enough from high school, a lot more physical, so you just have to uh, just go through different things. And, uh, I say watch the film a lot, that, that helps you. You feel like having that physical strength, you, you seem pretty strong for a freshman coming in, and you feel like that's maybe helped you adjust to that learning curve a little bit more? Yeah, that's what it has. Um, it's fine through some ball screens, I can uh, wear your body out too. And, uh, I feel like my body's pretty, it's pretty stable, so yeah. I mean, I play a lot of minutes too, so that helps me. Who's been the toughest guy to guard in the Big Ten this season for you? The toughest? Cass is pretty good. I mean, this game after my concussion, so. Yeah. Cohen, he's fast. Yeah. Carson Edwards, I mean, there's a lot of good guys. Geo Baker. Uh, yeah. There's so many good guys in Coming into next game, obviously, guys like Jawan, Zach, Evan, they know for sure it's their last game in Assembly Hall. Yeah. And if you guys can move, move on, you'll be in New York. Is that kind of a point of emphasis, maybe a talking point for the team to rally around a little bit and just say, you know, this is it for these guys? Oh, a little bit. I mean, we just want to win every game we play them, regardless if it's here or away. Uh, so we just want to win for them and uh, just win our last game here. Appreciate it, Rob.